two weeks wiki hii imekuwa wiki ya ajabu that we have received a lot of good blessing tumepokea baraka njema we have just witnessed great healing kama vile tumeshuhudia upenyaji wa ajabu baraka za ajabu breakthrough kumekuwa na upenyo wa ajabu thank you for all people who have traveled from all over asante kwa nyota mliosafiri kutoka kila mwende yesterday wengine wakarejea jana others are in today wengine wako leo and i want to tell you your life never be the same again nataka nikuombe maisha yako itakuwa tofauti the last one week wiki moja iliyopita three things nimenena mambo matatu today i want to talk to finish up what i left but maybe it's a new thing but i'll see how to bring it leo nataka kunena jambo jipya lakini nataka kukamilisha kile nilikuwa nimeanza we were focusing on serving god without fear tulikuwa tunatazamia kutumikia mungu bila uoga and i number one, i talked about the place of your grace kwanza nikanena kuhusu maeneo yako ya neema when you are operating from the place of your grace wakati unafanya kazi katika maeneo yako ya neema ministry when you are doing ministry unapofanya huduma on the place of your grace katika nafasi yako ya neema you will not have fear hautakuwa na uoga yeyote because there will be a lot of success kwa sababu kutakuwa na kuna wirishwa kwingi number two, ya pili nikasema is about the man of your grace ni kuhusu mtu wa neema yako when you have somebody who have gone ahead of you wakati uko na mtu aliyekutangulia prepared a way for you kanda njia kwa ajili yako there is no demon to, ha, to, kuna, to threaten you hakuna pepo ya kukutisha your work will be very easy kazi yako itakuwa rahisi and i said you need to locate nataka kusema kwamba lazima utambue mtu wa neema yako for elisha 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 was the man of the grace Elia alikuwa mtu wa neema elisha operated elia kafanya kazi under the grace chini ya neema of elijah ya elia praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe when god came to destroy sodom wakati mungu alikuja kuangamiza sodoma he remembered ibrahim akamkumbuka ibrahim and saved lot akamwokoa lutu so for lot kwa lutu the man of his grace mtu wa neema yake was ibrahim alikuwa ibrahim the disciples wanafunzi operated wakafanya kazi under the grace of jesus chini ya neema ya kristo and the church na kanisa that was being birthed Amba, during the first Amba century ambao alizaliwa wakati wa karne ya kwanza they operated wakafanya kazi ya huduma under the grace of the apostles chini ya neema ya mitume Bible says Mandiko inasema katika matendo ya mitume kitabu chapter 2 sura ya 2 I think verse 42 43 that they dwell ya kwamba walidumu in the teaching katika mafunzo of the apostles mafundisho ya mitume and the bible says na mandiko inasema the church kwamba is built kanisa imejengwa on the foundation katika msingi of the prophets wa mitume and apostles na manabii so for us kwa tusisi the men of our grace watu wetu wa neema is the apostles ni mitume and then number three, ya tatu ni kwamba i spoke about operating within your grace kufanya kazi chini ya neema yako operating kufanya kazi within your grace ndani ya neema yako there is an area kuna maeneo that god has called you into ambao mungu amekuita ndani if you operate kama utafanya kazi in that area katika huduma maeneo yale i gave a, I, i read the bible nikasoma maandiko in the book of romans chapter 1 katika warumi sura ya kwanza it says that paul inasema mtume paulo was appointed by god teuliwa na mungu separated by god akatengwa na mungu to be an apostle into the gentiles afanyike mtume kwa watu wa mataifa and the bible says na maandiko inasema in the book of galatians katika wagaratia when he came back to jerusalem peter john and james paul who are the pillars of the gospel they gave him a right hand of blessing when they saw the grace of god working in his ministry and they told him you need to go to the gentiles we remain to the jews for the church in jerusalem had recognized that the operating area of Paul maeneo ya Paulo mtume was within the gentiles ilikuwa katikati ya watu wa mataifa and i want to speak the fourth thing today is about the grace of your assignment neema ya majukumu yako or the grace ama neema into your assignment katika majukumu yako and to understand more about the assignment kufahamu zaidi kuhusu majukumu we look at the book of jona tuangalie kitabu cha yona we don't go far we just look at the book of jona tuangalie kitabu cha yona jona had an assignment jona alikuwa na majukumu and his assignment na majukumu lake was to go and preach where god sent him ilikuwa kwenda kuhubiri mahali mungu alimtuma chapter 1 verse 1 we read sura ya kwanza mstari wa the word of the lord came to jona basi neno la bwana kamjia yona son of amitai mwana mwana wa amitai 
the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. Verse 3, the Bible says, but Jonah ran away from the Lord and, and headed to Tarshish and he went down to Joppa where he found a ship bound for the port. After paying the fare, he went abroad and sailed for Tarshish to free from the Lord. Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea. And such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break up. All the sailors were afraid and each cried out to his own God and they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone below deck where he lay down and fell into a deep Sleep, not that. And the captain went to him and said, Man, how can you sleep? Get up and call your God. Maybe he will take notice of us and we will not, be, uh, will not perish. Then the sailors to each other, Come, let us cast a lot to find out who is responsible for this calamity. They cast lots and they, and, it, uh, and they fell and the Lord fell on Jonah. So they ask him, tell us, guy, who is responsible for making all this uh, trouble for us? And man, what do you do? And where do you come from? And where is your, what is your country? What are your people? Hear those questions. <laughs> <laughs> to a guy who is who is trying to run away from the assignment. He answered, I am a Hebrew. And I wash and I worship the Lord. The God of heaven. Who made the sea and the land. This, this terrified them. And they asked, What have you done? They knew he was running away from the Lord. Because he already had told them. And the sea was getting rougher and rougher. Then they asked him, What should we do to you to make the sea calm down? Yani, the way they were questioning him, the intensity of the wind became more. I think God wanted to shake everything one more time. Every time God wants to do something, he shakes even the unshakable. Now, as they were questioning him, the sea became more rougher and more rougher. I believe everybody was terrified. And they said, what have you done? And what can we do? to cool down. And he told them in verse 4, pick me up and throw me into the sea. He replied, and you to become calm. I know this is my fault that this great storm has come upon you. Instead, the men did their best to row back to the land. But they could not. For the sea grew even wilder and bef than before. Then they cried to the Lord, O oh Lord, please do not let us die for taking this man's life. Do not hold accountable for us killing an innocent man for you. O oh Lord, have done as you pleased. Then they took Jonah, threw him overboard. And the lagging sea grew calm. At this, the men greatly feared the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice to the Lord. And they made a vow unto the Lord. But the Lord provided a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was inside the fish three days and three nights. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I say the many people have never read the book of Jonah. And that's why I, I decided to read, to read the whole story. And I believe we have read together with you. Now, you see, this man called Jonah was a great man of God. But when God gave him an assignment to go and preach 
um, uh, in this city. He thought about this city. One thing he knew that this city people were very ungodly. He feared to be killed by these people. He knew how difficult it would be. This is by his own thinking. That it was going to be very difficult ya kwamba itakuwa ni vigumu sana to be able to preach in this city kuweza kuhubiria watu hao although god had called him hata kama mungu alikuwa amemwita although god had sent him hata kama mungu alikuwa amemwita although god had given an assignment hata kama mungu alimpa majukumu but within himself lakini ndani yake as a human being kama mwanadamu he just saw impossibilities akaona kutowezekana and it is true na ni kweli the city was in a very bad position mji ulikuwa katika hali mbaya there were very bad people kulikuwa watu wao it was known all over ilijulikana kote and then Jonah, Jonah decided to run away akaamua kutoroka and not to go to the place of his assignment na sienene katika maeneo yake ya this brought a lot of problems i need to speak to tell you at this particular juncture nataka nikuambie katika nafasi hii i believe strongly ninaamini kwa undani after salvation baada ya wokovu we have all been sustained by god sisi wote ni mungu ametuhifadhi that we should be able ya kwamba tukaweza to accomplish particular assignments in our life majukumu fulani katika maisha yetu praise the name of the lord bwana asifiwe apart from being saved hata kama baada ya kuongoka bible says maandiko inasema we were called tuliitwa to be co-workers together with god tufanyike watenda kazi pamoja so na mungu each one of us has a work kila mmoja wetu ako na kazi ya kufanya work ako na kazi ya kufanya and jesus said kristo akasema what i do kila nitakacho kufanya you shall do greater things hata nyi mtatenda makuu so what jesus left the disciples to do kile kristo aliachia wanafunzi wafanye is an assignment ilikuwa ni majukumu amen amen hallelujah hallelujah they were saved walikuwa miokoka ndio bound to heaven walikuwa naelekea bingu but walikini they had to do some work walikuwa na kazi ya kufanya what attached us here on earth kile kinachotukamanisha dunia hii with the kingdom of heaven na ufalme wa mbinguni or with our jesus the savior ama kristo mwokozi wetu it is the work we are doing here on earth kile kazi tunafanya dunia hii as he commanded kama vile alivyo every believer kila muaminiyo has an assignment akona majukumu accomplish kutimiza dunia hii look at your neighbor angalia jirani yako two or three and tell them you are here with an assignment uko hapa kwa majukumu you are here for an assignment uko hapa kwa ajili ya majukumu and you have an assignment Now repeat one more time you are here because of a godly assignment that's why when you got saved you did not go to heaven you are to remain here for jesus saying i must go is as if he was saying but you must remain to do the works of god what i was assigned to do i assigned you to do that's why he said greater things you shall do you shall heal the sick you shall raise the dead whatever you shall bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven So what I am doing you will do it so they were left to accomplish the assignment of God that was upon the life of Jesus Hallelujah and we if we belong to Christ Jesus then we are bound to follow the same Hallelujah tell your neighbor we are here together with you for an assignment You cannot just be saved and stay in your house eat and drink and stay merry and wait to go to heaven. Uwezi kuokoka na ubakia kwako nyumbani ukifanya sherehe na ugoje uende mbinguni. The Bible says Maandiko inasema in the book of Revelation katika ufunuo wa Yohana that we must read. Hiyo lazima tusome. I believe it's 14. Naamini sura ya 18. Revelation is the last book in the New Testament. Ni kitabu cha mwisho cha agano jipya kile. Today I'm doing a lot of help to some people. Leo nataka niambie Can they say thank you pastor? Waseme asante mchungaji. You are helping me a lot today. Unanisaidia vizuri sana leo. No somebody did not say what I said. Mtu hakurudia kile. Okay we are looking at verse 13. Chapter 14 verse 13 Then I heard a voice from heaven right Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord From now on This was the time that John the was seeing things in heaven and god was revealing to him about the world of today and the world that was to come at this time he is 
receiving revelation about heaven about the wedding of the lamb now the bible says he had a voice saying blessed are the dead who die in the lord and that was not the end it's good to die when you are in the Lord, when you have confessed your sin, when you have been made anew by the blood of Jesus. But let's continue. The voice said, yes, says the Spirit. The first was about heaven. But now it's about the spirit. And you need to understand the spirit. The spirit, who is the spirit? The spirit is the helper that Jesus released upon the church. That when they are on this earth, living in this flesh, they can be helped by a power of God. Not a power of the angel, but the power of God himself. That this body will be quickened, regenerated, empowered. As the Bible says in the book of Romans, that he who raised up Jesus from the dead, he shall quicken this flesh. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit will quicken this flesh. Maybe I need to show you that scripture. Hold on on Revelation Chapter 14. But let's look at the book of Romans. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I need to be scriptural. I, I, and I need you to see. It is in the Bible. Romans chapter 8 verse 11. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. He who raised Christ Jesus from the dead. He will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you. Praise the Lord. So I was trying to define the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit who dwells in us is the power of God or rather is the nature of God that was released upon our lives. When Jesus was living with us, it was Emmanuel. God with us in the human level. But when he went to heaven, he promised the church he shall send a helper called the Holy Spirit. He said, I will send a comforter called the Holy Spirit. He shall lead you. He shall guide you. He shall bring you to the real truth. And the truth is God. So the Holy Spirit is a personification of God himself in an image or in a spirit that can dwell within human beings so that they may attain the standards of God. That's why the Bible read Romans chapter 8 verse 11. He who raised up Jesus he shall also quicken this body. That is to bring it to the level of the spirit. Is to overcome the corruptible nature of this flesh that we can live in this world in this corrupted body. The, the body can get sick, can go through pain, this body can die, but through all those, the power of the Holy Spirit will release us from that pain. That's why Paul tells death, Where is your sting or death? Because even if when we die, death will not put us down. For the Holy Spirit of God will quicken us. We shall come out of the power of death and we shall not experience the power of death or the corruption of death. And we shall rise up again in a newness that the death will never conquer us again. That is the work of the Holy Spirit to quicken us. But those who don't know Jesus, those who have not accepted Jesus, when they die, they perish forever. 
Bilele. They shall never exist again. They shall only exist Wataishi tu in the pain of Jehanam. The everlasting tormentation. Ya if you are here, you are not a believer. Hapo, I mamiti. bring you good news. If you don't believe in Jesus, you shall Christ. perish forever. You never see your mother again. You never see your wife again. You never see your father again. You shall cry forever and ever. I bring good news to those people who believe in Jesus that even death and the pain of death and the sting of death shall never, never be able to overcome you. Can somebody say amen? If you are a believer, say amen. Declare, I am an overcomer. I have overcome death. Not I will overcome. I am an overcomer right now. The Bible says, even when they die, they shall not die, but they shall live. And the Bible says, this is the mystery. It's called the mystery of death. But I want to call it the mystery of salvation. That you are already already uplifted into a level of Jesus even with this body. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, let's check our Bible. We are in the book of Revelation. Happy are they who die in the Lord. The Bible says, yes, say the Spirit. They will rest from their labor for their deeds will follow them. That's the point. Their deeds will follow them. What they did here on earth, whatever they accomplished here on earth, how they served God here on earth. The Bible says when we come to the lamb of, to the wedding of the lamb, by that time the sinners are perishing. But we who are in Christ Jesus, we so yes. come before the throne Tuta of God and the abuana. second book will be opened that is the book of deeds and when we come to heaven people will be adorned with crowns they shall be rewarded for the works they have worked hallelujah hallelujah there will be great celebration. That's what the Bible says in the book of Revelation. There will be great celebration. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. People to receive what to reward of their work. The what they have accomplished. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Everything good you do in Christ, it is recorded in heaven. And as I said, Jesus left the church to do the works of God. Jesus did not leave the church that I should preach you in the morning, preach for you in the lunch hour, give you evening service, ear in, ear out. We need to stop that. We need to go to another mode, the mode of work. When I bring revelation unto you, then you need to do the works of God. And I said each one of us has been called for a special assignment. Each one of us has been called to accomplish a particular assignment. That's why I said we are here for an assignment and with an assignment. We are not tourists on this earth. We are here to do the works of God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't need to explain about the works of God. You know the works of God. Jesus went everywhere doing good to the people, loving people, People, helping the sick, helping the dead, raising them to dead, I mean, raising them to life, proclaiming the good news. Those are the first agendas of the kingdom. Proclaiming the good news. Taking care of those who don't know Jesus. Making them know Jesus. Expressing the love of God in the many ways we know. Let me tell you a good phrase that one of my Bible teachers says that the church is the only organization that exists for the benefit of non-members. I need to repeat that again. 
that the church is the only organization live alone Red Cross. I mean the church is the only organization that exists to benefit the non-members. When we have accepted Jesus, we exist because of those who doesn't know Jesus. We exist to let them know the loving grace of Jesus. The Bible says the best religion that God looks out is to help the poor, the orphans, the widows, the helpless. Also in Isaiah 58, maybe from verse 6, 7, 8, he says, isn't this the first thing that I desire? To open up the chains. That one we do. We have been here two weeks praying over your life, releasing you from bondages, releasing you from curses. That is our assignment. Every ministry has its assignment. And everyone in that ministry has his assignment or her assignment towards that calling. That's why I said you need to have a place of operating where the grace of God of that assignment will work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Bible says not only opening the chains but also taking care of the less fortunate the poor the poor wanderers isn't there to take care of the orphan and the widows? Then the Bible says, from there, light will shine upon your life. After doing those deeds, are you in, a, in Isaiah 58? Verse 8. Then light will shine Ita, ita kupamba zukia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your healing will come quickly. Then your righteousness Haki will go forth. Ita, ita and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. We start, the light will break forth. There will be healing. Righteousness will come upon your life. And you know righteousness is the nature of God. Sometimes we seek righteousness. But the best place to find righteousness is to loosen the chain of the of injustice and tie the yokes to share your food with the hungry, provide the poor wanderer with a shelter, clothing the naked. Verse 9 says, then you will call upon the Lord and he shall answer. We can say, then you shall pray and God will answer. Are you getting the connection of deeds? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not only prayer. Not only sitting down in church. So I come to challenge all of you to ask yourself what do you do after you got saved? What have you done? What inclination of good deeds do you have? What inspiration? Some of us have inspiration to reach out the unsaved. Others, we have inspiration to pray. Not only to the people here. Our prayer should extend even to the drunkard where they are. That's why I've been challenging people from this ministry. You need to pray here. But also you get out into the houses of people to pray for them. I saw on your, on, on your, on your wall that you have started to do it on last Saturday. God bless you. You need to be out. Pray for people. Not because they have asked. But that's our assignment. 
Pray for them where they are. God will heal them. God will deliver them. Just as he does here. We need to reach them there. Others have an inspiration. Of the spirit. To give. Kuwapa. You must give as much as you can. I really thank some people. They give their food. They give their yo. life talk to Mispa. Mispa. They give uh, um, everything to Mispa. Kina kitu kwa which mispa. is one way turned to other poor people. When, when we do that, that we are online with our calling Tunajiweka sambamba of our yetu. assignment. Yetu. Jesus left us here Christo on earth to advance the love of God. Upendo wa Mungu. That's why I said some people have an inspiration of the Spirit to roho. give their clothes. Others have an inclination of the Spirit to go roho. out and help Kuwa manually. They know a poor kwa widow kwa somewhere. She maskini. cannot be able to cultivate her land. So lake. you get there two or three, four, five people, young people or old people because she doesn't have money to hire workers then you work wani. for them I remember another time our youth went out to our neighbors there was an old lady living in our neighborhood she didn't have a toilet just as you go up she didn't have a toilet and our youth one day they went years ago build a toilet for her that's a good deed portraying the love of Jesus praise the name of the Lord hallelujah others are inspired to earn money to support the work of the ministry the agenda of their business is to have more profit and more profit to support the work of the ministry to support the man of God to support the calling of God each one of us God has called you and assigned you a particular area I want to encourage you don't be ashamed when you are doing the works of God in your calling. I'm using the word inspiration because if I use the word calling, some people will get confused and they will tell me, I don't know my calling or I don't know my calling. But the Holy Spirit who is God in us will always inspire you with the element of love, the element of care that, that love will go forth towards somebody, towards a situation. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That love will go towards caring on somebody. It's not a must that I must know as the pastor. Out there, there are so many works of God that need to be performed so that people may see the love of Jesus. After we have prayed here, that power needs to be taken into the village, to be taken on the streets, to be taken to our neighbors, to be taken in the nightclub, to be taken in the bar, rather in the pubs, even into the house of prostitutes. One time, I had a team preaching in a, in a remote city in Kenya. That's around 1985. No, I was leading a group we were to preach in a particular small city of Kenya and one of the Kenya. area we targeted is an area full of prostitutes an area full of prostitutes and we went into their houses I, no specifically 1985 and I, I tell you we, we knocked their doors and one of them told us now, you know my business we said well we know your business and she said if I get saved what will happen how do I earn money 
How do I take care of myself? I have one pastor. Niko na mchungaji mmoja. Another pastor by then. Ambaye hako mchungaji wakati. And he told this lady. Akamwambia huyu dada. God will take care of you. Mungu atakushughulikia wewe. He shall show you. Atakuonyesha. What to do after this? Kila utatenda baada ya hii. This time the lady has not got saved. Lakini sasa dada hajaokoka. Then she said then I will get saved. Akasema nitaokoka ndio. God will going to help me. Kama Mungu atanisaidia. And she got saved. Na akaokoka. I want to tell you. I know this lady today. I know how rich she is. I have looked at her over the years. She began something small. In the marketplace. And God multiplied. I know this lady today. I know a bit of her well. So I know. That God. When we go out. To express the love of Jesus. The power of Jesus. So we go. With the nature of Jesus. When we go out there, the power within us, that is the power of the Holy Spirit, will be able to watch the works of God. Listen, it's not about your ability. It's about God's ability. That's why I say today I'm talking about the grace in the assignment. And I define the grace, number one, as God's favor. So God's favor will work through your life to bring glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Number two, grace, it is God's empowerment. So the Holy Spirit will empower you. It's not about your power, not your might, but the Holy Spirit. Listen, my brother, listen, my sister, God is not interested with your power because he has his own power that will work through you. He, to, he, he told Paul, Paul, my power is made perfect in weakness. Where you are weak, when you act in weakness, under the influence of the Holy Spirit, the result are godly result. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The result will be godly result. You may not be able to explain to the people. When we came to Mizpah, there were no set, many settlements in this area. This area was abandoned by the people who had been bought this land. Because this was all quarry. It was a wasteland. Nothing was being produced here. When we came here, some of our friends ran away from us. When we brought them here, it could not make any sense. But we were responding to a spiritual inspiration. And if you want to be more spiritual, call it a spiritual call. I may not have heard a voice from heaven. I want to assure you I didn't hear a voice from heaven. But I was inclined by the Holy Spirit to move in that direction. I felt peace moving in that direction. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Even me, I didn't understand. We didn't have money. We didn't have a support. But we moved in and God's ability oh, hallelujah. God's ability has made it happen. There was no way we could have electricity here in Mizpah. Our first quotation came to one, I think, 1.6 million or 1. Point something million. Because, because the only power line was like a mile away and it was the main line going to Nyahururu and Marral. So, the Kenya power them wanted us to pay a lot of money to tap the power from there. We didn't have the money, but I believed in God. We believed in God. We believed in the grace of our calling. Something will happen. We were buying water, I think five shillings, a, a, a tin of 20. People were being given cups of water even to bathe. They are here. Some of you are here. How many knows what I'm talking about? Lift up. Yes, people are here. They understand. We didn't have houses to sleep on. But we pursued our calling. Rather the inspiration of God. The favor of God was upon us. My wife, they know this. 
Me, I always say, the rule of electrification was brought because of Mispa. Because we were the first customers in Kenya. Plus the neighbors who are here. Our case was dealt in Nairobi. That the Kenya power Nakuru, they didn't understand. They came to realize after maybe a year, and they wanted us to pay more. We say, no, we have a letter from Kenya power. I said we are a community, and you are given a rate. Everybody was to pay 5,000. And they were to put the the, the, the transformer you see here. And all the neighbors here. Mispa looked for money. Because, because they didn't have money. We paid their deposit. For them. You see some, many of the houses here. Made of mud but the electricity is in. They came and fixed the electricity. Even before we paid. The favor. Kibali. The favor, Kibali. the favor Kibali. of God, Yamungu. and the ability of God wa has manifested itself. It has manifested itself. The power of God za Mungu. has manifested itself. Because in every kwa, calling, kwa kila when kwe, there is obedience, kuna kuti, there is favor, kuna kibali, there is God's ability, kuna wa there is God's power. Kuna ya mungu Can I repeat say after me, there is favor, kuna kibali, God's ability, wa kiungu, God's power. Za mungu. If God is calling you kama mungu mekuita, to do such crazy things, I encourage you to run quickly tomorrow. Even if there is nothing to eat, kama hakuna chakula, when you are there, pale, God's favor will be upon you. God's ability will be upon you. Wa kiungu na wewe. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. This is what Jonah missed to understand. Hindiyo, that in the calling of God, wa mungu, there is the ability of God, kuna uweza wa kiungu, there is the power of God, kuna nguvu za and there is a power, uh, um, favor of God. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why he was running away. And when he started running away, the power of God followed him. I want to say a few threatening issues. That when you don't accomplish the purposes of God in your life, you enter into a period of misery. When you don't do things as for the inspiration of God. You enter into problems. If you don't give where you are supposed to give, you enter into problems. If you don't serve where you are supposed to serve, you enter into problems. Praise the name of the Lord. God's assignment also has its own path, its Pia, own course. Pia iko na njia yake. Your course is not my course. Yako sio njia yangu. Your path is not my path. Yako sio yangu mimi. We may be doing the same thing. Wenda tunatenda kitu sawa. We may be in the same prayer ministry. Wenda tu katika huduma ya maombi pamoja. Your course is not my course. Lakini njia yako sio njia yangu. For God deal with us separately. Mungu hufanya kazi na individually. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God deals with us. Mungu kufanya kazi na sisi. For our reward also are so personal. Thawabu yetu pia ni ya kibinafsi. John said when we come to heaven. Johanna kasema tukifika binguni. Each one of us will receive. Kila mmoja wetu atapokea. According to his deed. Kulingana kwa matendo yake. If we are all in Mispa, and there is this opportunity na kuna hii fursa of giving ya kutoa because of this building. Kwa sababu ya mjengo huu some can give 20,000. But the others can give 1,000, 100,000 shillings. So when I ask for 20,000, don't give 20,000. You give 100,000. Jesus spoke about this. When he was at the temple. And he saw people giving. But he saw one woman. Who gave everything she had. But rich people came to give. They gave 10 times more than her. But Jesus said, this woman is more blessed than the others. So it's not about the amount. 
is about the heart attitude. For your path is not my path. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We may be calling you to serve at the altar. Maybe you are an usher. Maybe you are doing other things to minister to the calling. You are ten people. Each one of you has his own path according to the capability God has granted each one of you. We are not of the same capability. Some will run. Others will come slowly. But when they run, they have to wait upon us. They are not better than us. No. The young disciple was not better than the older disciple. When they were told Jesus has risen up, the young disciple ran. He came to the grave and he saw he's risen. But he waited for the older to come. Because his ability was more than the older one. Our age can bring the, the ability, difference in the ability. Many things can bring differences. But each one of us has been given by God equal chance. As the Bible says, the, the race is not to the swift, nor the fight to the strong. But all of us have been given time and chance equally. You need to understand when you see other people doing more than what you are doing, that's the empowerment of God in that grace. When you see other people are lagging behind, that's their ability. Accommodate them. They will still get somewhere and God will reward them for the attitude of the heart. If you have more, like what Jesus saw, and you are not giving up, your effort, your commitment to the level of your grace, then judgment is upon your life. Don't look out and compare yourself with others. The Bible says, even some compare themselves with themselves. I like some version they say, they are not wise. Some version will say, they are fools. They compare themselves with their accomplishments. Men. you need to compare yourself with the godly ability oh hallelujah Hallelujah. And when the church is moving in this dynamism, no one will suffer like Jonah. Jonah suffered. I need three or four things. I need to bring you three or four things. Jonah suffered because he wanted to compare himself with himself. He thought he knew too much. He thought he knew more than God. He compared the task ahead of him with what he knows, with what he imagined. He compared the task, the result of the task ahead with his ability. But he was a fool. He cannot compare himself with the ability of God. He cannot compare his accomplishment with the favor of God. I want to let you know it is not about you. It is not about you. It is not about your ability. It is about submitting yourself. Submitting yourself. Amen. Amen. Is about submitting yourself forcibly into the work that God has called you into. God's assignment has people who have gone ahead of you. Every assignment has people who have gone ahead of you. Look out 
for people kwa watu who have succeeded ahead of you for me as a prayer minister kama muhubiri mtu wa look out kila wakati utazamia for other prayer ministries kwa huduma zingine ombezi have succeeded ambazo zimefaulu and i enjoy na hufurahia reading about them kusoma kwa husi i enjoy hufurahia reading kusoma what they did kila walichokitenda may i mention this because we have a uh, um, um, caro from germany nitaje hiyo sababu kuna caro i read germany. about a place called hanhart nikasoma kuhusu maeneo yale hanhart where there were people kulikuwa na watu who started to pray walianza kuomba 24 hours miaka masai na maine kule ujerumani 24 hours masai 24 day and night usiku na mchana i can't pron- pro- pronounce the german leader who was there starting with a z or something like that kuna ule mtu ambaye the target na lake I was so excited. Nikatangamka this prayer movement ya kwa went on for 100 years. Ulienda kwa miaka 100. They devoted themselves. Walijitoa to that call. Katika mwito ule. That's why I say it is possible. Ndio nasema inawezekana. When I learned there is a place in America. Nilipota jua kuna maeneo katika Wanafanya mashahishi 24/7. I paid a ticket. Nikalipa ticket. Our minister helped me to pay a ticket. Huduma yetu kaisa kulipa ticket. Go to the International House of Prayer. Nikaenda katika ile mambo ya mataifa 2000. Ilikuwa miaka 2000. And stayed there for a week. Nikakaa pale wiki nzima. I'm doing nothing. Sikufanya chochote. I'm enjoying the ability of God. Kufurahia uwezo wa Mungu. Na kipali cha Kiungu. We have over 200 worshipers. Kulikuwa na wabudiwa zaidi ya 100. So this thing God is directing me. It can work. Mungu ananielekeza yaweze. It can work. Inaweza. It is working for other people. They have a parking lot about 20 acres. And every day they have cars full of in that in the parking lot. I met teams from Korea, from China. People come a team of 20, 30, 40 to dwell in the presence of God. I say, my God, this is it is possible. It is possible. Inawezekana. Although in Kenya, hata kama nchi ya Kenya, nobody is doing that. Hakuna mtu anakenda. Although I've never seen it in Kenya. Sijaiona nchi ya Kenya. But Misba. Lakini Misba. We shall be there. Tutakuwa pale. When I came to Kenya, Kenya people had asked me, "What do you want to tell us?" Ndio nataka kutuambia. That prayer pre, pre center. Yakomba hiyo maombi. People shall be spending there day and night time what, praying. What do you want to tell us? I said, "Yes." Nikasema ndio. They ask You want to tell us everything will be there. I said yes. Do you want some said even tribes will be there. We do really do really. Like you do know what I mean. Do really will be there. I said yes. Nikasema ndio atakuweko. Do really yes. Makabira because I'm a Kikuyu and I was fellowshiping in a Kikuyu church. Where are their mindset? Mwanzo wa God of the Kikuyu. Ilikuwa ni Mungu wa Kikuyu tu. No, I said I didn't akatu hata sasa. You know there are some people who Kuna. believe that God speaks their language. Kuna watu wanaamini Mungu unena tu lugha yao. And God behaves. Na Mungu ana tabia. So I was brought up in such social and when we say nyumba sia dolere I just flashed people of Rogoro those are the dolere. So I mean people from my church watu wa kanisa langu let me tell you honestly they never supported the call of god hawakusimama na mtu wa mungu they never supported hawakusimama na mtu wa mungu waliambia washirika wao wasikuje mimi i lay my hands on people and they get mad ninawekea watu mikono na kuwa kichaa i mean I understand today. Ninafahamu siku ya leo. But I had other people. Lakini nilikuwa na watu wengine. Who are praying. Ambao walikuwa kiomba. The same passion. Ambao walikuwa na shauku hiyo. Saying if you want to succeed in your assignment. Kitaka kufaulu katika mwito. Jonah failed to look out. Jonah akakosa kutazami. And recognize. Kutambua. Other people had been sent. Watu wengine walikuwa wametumwa. Moses was sent. Musa akatumwa. Joshua was still there. Joshua akakuweko. He could have brought himself. Angeweza kujireta. To align himself. Kujiweka sababu. With that fact. Na huo ukweli. You need to look for Lazima utazame mimi. People have been called. Watu wameitwa. On the same line you have been called. Katika hiyo line umeitwa. Let me tell you something. Watu ni kuambia jambo. Let me tell you something. Watu ni kuambia mimi. There are people who pray. Kuna watu wanaomba. And when they pray you keep quiet. Don't think, don't don't think we exist because Usi of your prayer. There are other yaku. people who can pray. Kuna watu wengine wanaweza omba. They just omba. can pray. Wanaweza omba. There are people who can pray. Kuna watu wanaweza omba. They sleep here praying. Wanaenda tukopa kuomba. So when I come around here. Nikija <laughs> hapa. Because that grace. Kwa sababu hiyo enjoy them. Let them pray. Ni wanaomba wacha waombe. You know there are big meetings in town so Kuna two days ago, I was telling my wife we came people sweeping the road and I said Kuta watu wanafanya barabara the barabara. town very beautiful I said yeah. to my wife hallelujah hallelujah nikasema hallelujah let them decorate this town watu warembeshe mji wa mtaule let them sweep the barabara watu wafagie barabara let them sleep in the fields watu walale kule katika uwanja 
it is possible. I have been there sleeping on the mountain. We were alone. There are thousands. Let them sleep. Let the rain come upon them. They are just following other people. And I said to Margaret, you know the atmosphere of God is on this city. For God can preach himself with foolishness or uh, with pride with everything. I said to Margaret, I think I support all this move of God. I felt sometimes if I, I could go to that kiwanja and just support the move of God. No matter the standard. They are just following something else other people we were, we were there in prayer in the mountain we prayed in the town let them pray let them pay the tv station and pray i, I am very excited my point is this there are people who went ahead of you jonah missed out to recognize other people even if he didn't believe in the call of god he should have believed in the call the performance of other people. You know, where I was born, we used to sing. Honey. 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 If he read Moses, I'm even me, I'm going to accomplish. No matter the difficulty, that's why I can pray the God of Moses. I can pray the God of Moses. Because Moses was ahead of me. Some people follow nobody. They just classify themselves with themselves. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 12, we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves when they measure themselves by themselves. They are not wise. They are fools. Some people, some people want to compare with themselves with other people who have never succeeded. They want to compare themselves with themselves. Jonah refused to remember the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Do you remember that guy in the New Testament? He said, I know my boss. You are a rough man. You like everything where you did not. And the master said, you foolish man, come here. Get everything that he has. And the Bible says, the master said, you foolish guy, why didn't you take my money and give it to other people who understand my language? Why didn't you go to them and follow them how they multiply money? And the Bible says he, it was taken from him. It's about the deed. And the Bible says those who have kidogo, it will be taken away from them. And given to those who know how to do better deeds. I need to finish this one. It's very frightening. If you don't do the inspiration of God, if you don't do what God is leading you, it will be taken away from you. You are a prophet, you don't prophesy. You see visions, you don't pray for them. You can go out, proclaim the gospel, you don't do it. Next time, it shall be taken away from you. And that anointing will be empowered to somebody who goes. Listen and what the Bible says, those who have, they shall be given much. And those who don't have, it will be taken away from them. Isn't that a pity? Isn't that a pity? All of us I began. There is something we can do in the ministry. Praying for the man of God. Supporting the man of God with your prayer. Supporting the man of God with your finances. Being there. 
reaching out to Kuna, neighbors kuenda kuwafikia majirani checking out kuangalia na kutazama jeni za tendani for what will remain je kile kitabaki baada ya kufa it's our deeds ni matendo tu I pray that you should not die. Naomba kwa mausife. Before you perfect your deeds. Kabla utende matendo. You need to do it very fast. Lazima utende kwa upesi. You don't know the day of your death. Kwa sababu haujui siku yako. I may end up today and you die tomorrow. Huenda nimaliza hapa na umeenda kesho. What you die? Kesho. How you die? Vile utakavyokufa. You remain with it. Utabakia na kila uko nacho tu. So we have a window of opportunity. Tuko na fursa ya kutenda. To do the works of God. Kutenda matendo ya Mungu. Team up with people. Kushikamana na watu wengine. Who are doing? Ambao wanatenda. What we feel? Kile tunahisi. That God has called us to do. Mungu ametuita tutende. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say thank you pastor. Tuasemi asante mchungaji. I'm going to change. Ninaenda kubadilika. Serving God kutumikia Mungu in your assignment katika majukumu yako releases the grace uachilia neema if Jonah kama yona, would have climbed the ship angepanda ile kwa meli the place of his calling by the time mucho, he come there wakati anafika God will have empowered him Mungu angekuwa amemtia nguvu God would have given favor Mungu to be accepted even by the sinners kukubalika na wenyewe how do i know that ninajua hivyo kwa nini when he was forced by God baada ya kurazimishwa na Mungu to go to the place of his assignment kwenda maeneo majukumu yako when he came there Those people pali. repented wale watu walitubu until he was jealousy mpaka akawa na wivu he felt jealousy kahisi wivu i give you an assignment nikupe majukumu when you go home ukienda nyumbani read the book of jonah soma kitabu cha yona you will understand the jealousy utafahamu wivu ya nini things. mungu alitenda mambo if he could have gone the first time kama angeenda mara ya kwanza you not have fallen into problem hangeia katika shida He could have done angetenda what was right kila mambo kilikuwa ni like haki Mungu akamwambia Kaini If you offered rightly je ungetoa sadaka bora I mean everything will be okay Ungekubarika If Jonah kama Yona did not compare himself hangejilinganisha with himself na yeye mwenyewe Like the Bible says kama vile maandiko inasema that some compare themselves wengine hujilinganisha That in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 12. Corinto ya 2 sura ya 10 mstari wa 10. compare. Kama Yona hakujilinganisha with his ability. Na uwezo wa binafsi. With his safety. Na na ulinzi wake mwenyewe. Then God would have done those three things. Mungu angetenda mambo yale matatu. Would have released favor. Angeachilia kibari. He could have empowered him. Ungatia nguvu. He could have given ability. Angopatia uwezo to accomplish the assignment. But property was lost lakini mali kapotea because of jona kwa sababu ya yona how much do you lose je wewe hupoteza ngapi how much have you lost umepoteza ngapi wewe in the calling of god katika mwito some people are suffering today watu wengi wanateseka they are in the wrong place kwa sababu wakati wa maeneo they don't want to confess like jona ni wataki kuungama kama yona please it is me who has offended god ni mimi nimemuudhi mungu they come in repentance wanakuja gari kutoka and they turn around wanageuka they make up their mind they start following wanafuata oh hallelujah hallelujah some want to do things on their own. Wengine wanataka kufanya mambo kibinafsi. I said about the grace. Nikasema kuhusu neema. Of the man ahead of you. Neema ya mtu aliyekutangulia. There must be somebody ahead of you. Lazima kuna mtu Some of you are struggling. Wengine mnangangana. Because they have refused. Kwa sababu mmekataa. They have refused. Wamekataa. To attach themselves. Kujishikamanisha. With the man of the grace. Na mtu wa neema. With the place of the grace. Na maeneo ya neema. They want to operate as freelance. Wanataka watembee kwa neema. It cannot happen like that. Haiwezekani. It cannot happen like that. Haiwezekani. Some of you are misplaced. Wengine mko mahali You are in the wrong place. Mko mahali Some of you you are in the place wengine mko maeneo you are like Jonah lakini mko kama Jonah refusing to go out kukataa kufuata and asking God I want to die uliza Mungu kwa maana the Bible says when Jonah came Jonah alipokuja to the place of assignment when God did, was doing great things Mungu alipotenda mambo makubwa he could not see hangeweza kuona and he wished to die alitamani some of you are wishing to die wengine mwatamani mfu I tell you it is not yet over even when you think it is over hata ukidhania umefika mwisho you what I say msikieni nimesema hivi it is not yet over bado hajafika mwisho you think it is over and i declare in jesus name that from today the power of god that turns people around the power that turns jonah may it come upon your life but i pray that you should not suffer like jonah come out of that suffering do what you think god has called you to do make up your mind to serve at the point that you know god has called you to serve make up your mind i say be there by force by fire in the name of jesus don't allow the losses when you are out of the assignment there are losses not only to you 
but also to the people around you, to the family around you, to your children. You are calling out for suffering of other people because you have refused to do what you are supposed to do. Some of you have been called to spend time in prayer for the calling of Mispa. But they don't do it. They don't do it. They don't do it. They don't do it. That's why you are suffering. Some of you, God has always pointed out the need in the house of God. You have the grace to generate money. But you don't do it. That's why you are suffering financially. Others are suffering in love. Nobody to love them. Nobody to recognize them. The Bible says the gift paves the way to the giver. And gifts are known in service. Some people say I'm not utilized. How can we utilize you when you are hiding in the deck? We tell you to lead prayer. You say me, 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 me. me. We tell you to lead the service. You say, I cannot do it. And you know you can do it. You are not found at your place of assignment. You don't team up with people of the place of your assignment. I come to declare, may the Lord in the name of Jesus remove you from suffering and locate you to your place of assignment that the grace of your assignment will bring results. When we are at the place of our assignment, sign wonders and miracles. There will be a great move of God. I want to let you know towards the end. When, when we are in our place of assignment, the peace of God will be come upon you because of the result of your life. The peace of God and the joy of God. For the joy of God is in the midst of his service. When we serve God with joy, the Bible says, serve God with joy. That's what the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 2. Serve joy with joy and trembling. With you need to serve God with joy. When you are in the place of your assignment and doing what God has empowered you to do, you shall have joy. You shall have peace. May the Lord release that peace upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hand if you can stand up in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for people who are lost, who are suffering right now. They are suffering. In their ministry, they are suffering. At home, they are suffering. Some even don't go to church. They want to remain, remain at home. You need to come out of the deck and call upon the Lord. The captain told the people, call upon the name of your God. When he came to Jonah, he said, Jonah, call upon the name of your God. I called to challenge you. From now, call the name of your God to restore you back to the place of your assignment. I want to advise you pick up every opportunity that comes on your way. Whether you are allowed, whether you are given, whether people like it or not, don't be pulled down by the minds of people. Don't be pulled down by the decision of people. Today, in Jesus' name, is a time to come out of the deck like Jonah Everybody must be in his assignment. Must be in his assignment. Lift up your voices as you lift up your your, your, your hand and call upon God. The, the captain says, "Call upon the name of your God that we shall be saved." In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody call the name of your God? Call the name of God who called you. Call the name of the God who called you. In this sanctuary, we have only the workers of God who can do the deeds of God and the power of the Holy Spirit that reigns upon Jesus shall quicken your mortal bodies to accomplish the purposes of God, the purposes of God, the purposes of God. Purposes of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare a wake-up call. 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 
God upon your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare a wake up call. I declare a wake up call upon your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare a wake up call upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Rapa kaso karaba. May the power of heaven shake up your life. Shake up your life. Shake up your life. Until you come out of the deck. I'm praying dangerous prayers. I pray dangerous prayer. Radical prayer. That the power of God will shake your comfort zone. Shake your comfort zone. I just mean it. I pray as a servant of God. May your boat be rocked. May you are both be rocked out in the mighty name of Jesus. May the wind of God come upon your life. The wind of God shake you up, 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 shake the Holy Spirit is coming upon your life. The Holy Spirit is coming upon your life. The Holy Spirit is coming upon your life. Upon Mizpah, the place of your assignment, the place of your assignment is, is now alive. Is now alive. Is now alive. Is alive. Is alive. Masoka Baraba, Rebekato, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. I pray this prayer on your behalf. May the heaven shake up. Shake up your life. And that you may come to life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that the power of heaven may locate you in the place of your assignment. As Jonah was swallowed by a fish. May you be swallowed by the power of God. May you be swallowed by the power of God to take you to your rightful place in the mighty name of Jesus where the power of God will be manifested where you shall minister with the joy, with the joy, with the joy, with joy. Masoka Baraba. Father God, I thank you, Father, for each one of us. I thank you for Mispa. I thank you for the assignment of Mispa. I thank you for the assignment of Mispa. I thank you for the assignment of Mispa. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for the assignment of each one of us. I pray every one of us will be diligent in seeking the place of his assignment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, the man of his assignment in the mighty name of Jesus to minister in peace to minister in righteousness may each one of us locate the point of the assignment in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus somebody somewhere receive this anointing 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus. Receive this anointing.